morning students welcome to vistas learning classes i am your max tutor shruti now by the title itself you would have gone through now let us just get back to our previous session ma'am what is this ma'am starting itself you are starting okay don't worry i'll wait for you well there are people joining still okay let me just wait if my voice is not audible please do comment in the comment section okay so before that let me just say something about our channel so we at we learning provide free education to concentrate of all the sections of society and our main motto is it is not only right to education it is right to quality education and we provide many services some of them are we learning we sms and we talk we learning well it's an online platform and also we do have our app called as we app that is we are still in the process and you can find n number of animations concepts over there please do subscribe to our channel also don't worry and next we sms we sms where you can track the students progress and we talk it's a one to one live session between the student and the mentor so now what is our main motto especially our maths department motto is always be learning you have to always be learning ma'am how can we learn always see it's not only books and it's not only during the exam time you have to keep learning in your surrounding also okay now let me just come back to our previous session so we have dealt something about shapes isn't it yes so be before that we have seen something called as maths so max where do we find max max is found everywhere and now i would like like to say one more thing that is have a practice of questioning you have to question always see you might not get a answer immediately but keep questioning why is this is this logically right am i thinking right is this scientifically right yes you have to question always then only you can learn more about the concepts see it is not only when the teacher says okay ma'am i agree to your concept you have to question it why ma'am why are you saying this this problem is to be solved in this method itself you have to question this so when you have the practice of questioning your concept understanding becomes more easy and it will last long so that is why i say you have to have the practice of questioning and one more thing when we have a parents teachers meeting so this is one main thing we have observed so parents usually say this ma'am he'll be learning always always but he won't score well during exam time see when especially when you sit with your child if you have the practice of understanding making him understand please do take your personal time and one main thing if suppose if your child question see this is the age where the child will keep on questioning have patience yes i know it is some time very irritating the child will question in all the angles but that is where his curiosity arises you have to take your time and answer him because he has the curiosity to learn many things you have to appreciate him and now so before this let me just come back to our session what is this picture i hope from long time you are seeing this picture see there is a person who is asking what is 2 plus 2 he is not thinking anything as soon as the person answers this he is writing his hand itself is he thinking logically no he is not thinking logically so you have to think logically and also scientifically if suppose that comes under the science concepts now in the last previous session what have we dealt so it is all about the shapes right i hope that was an interesting session well we'll make it more interesting on de diving deep into it now what is this picture showing so well there is triangle there is square there is circle and n number of things is popping up over there now we'll be diving deep into this what is this have you played this game Yes you have played this it is called as mayo game right many students will be knowing this one so on when you score this one as you go there are coins over there as you as the mario touches the coins over there your score will be increasing right 
Now, the coins are aligned one after the other. We call it as piling. Now, as the coins are piling one above the other, what do you get? Well, this is interesting. Ma'am, as the coins are piling, you will be getting the coins itself. There is a coin over there, you will be getting the coins. You might ask a question. No, as the coins are piling, you will get one complete shape. That is called as cylinder. And the cylinder looks like this. Isn't it? Yes, here also one coin and it is ended by one more coin. So this is looking like the complete cylinder. So you have to remember this example. Ma'am, I am not able to understand the coin example. Don't worry. If suppose if you have visited any fancy store or anywhere, you would have find the bangles kept over there. So when you find the bangles kept over there, just imagine the bangles are piling one above the other. When after taking, that is after keeping everything, you will be finding in the same example, that is the same shape. It is called as cylinder. I hope you won't forget this word. Just remember the coin example and also the fancy store example. So we have seen a new shape called as cylinder. Now, can you guess where is the cylinder coming? After which figure? Well, that's a question to you. Keep guessing. I hope you have seen this. Well, we will be learning something, a new shape called as cube. And what is this cube? I hope you would have seen this. Let me come back to the same store itself, fancy store. There is something called as Rubik's Cube. I hope you have seen this in the world records or anywhere. Yes. So Rubik's Cube is one such cube where all the six phases, let me show the picture. Yes. So this is called as Rubik's Cube. How do you find this, ma'am? This is nothing but the which we play, ma'am. How water, how come it is involved in the mathematical concept? Yes, it is involved. Let me take it is in the form of the cube. What is the portion of this side? This side is called as length. And this is called as the short portion is called as width. And this is height. Why ma'am this only need to be height? Why ma'am this only need to be length? And this itself has to be width. I hope you remember this one. So width is also named as breadth. So there are two words width and breadth. Ma'am, I am not understanding this. I know Rubik's cube, but I am not understanding this cube. What is the concept? Okay, let me take your home itself. Let me take your home itself. This is the main door over there. Okay, the portion where you are entering. And just think about the behind portion. So, there are behind portion. Well, I am not good at drawing, but let me try. Okay, the behind portion. This portion the long portion is called as length and if suppose if it is having a short portion that is called as width or the other name is breadth. How about the height? I hope this you will be knowing why we call it as height because the exact height from the bottom to top where it is touching the roof portion. Ma'am, how about this? Why are you naming down itself? No worries, you can name the top portion also. So, this is again length. So, this is Again, breadth or width. Again, this is breadth or width. How about this? The same thing. It is also called as length. I hope you remember this one. How about this portion? This is also height. This is also height. This is also height. So, how many height do we have? We have four heights in the cube. Okay. Now, I hope it is very clear with your home example. Well, this example I have already given. So, it's your assignment to find still even more cubes. How about a new concept? So, till now we have learned something called as the, which is nothing but the Rubik's Cube, new shape. And in the previous sessions, we have learned triangle and quadrilateral. There is one more new shape that is cylinder. And how about a new concept called as tangram? What is this tangram? Ma'am, we have heard gram. What is this tangram? Yes, grams you find in your normal groceries or wherever, the vegetable shop, render, anywhere. Okay. Now, how about tangram? Tangram is one of the new concept in mathematics. So, well, it is very easy for you. You would have found this in the drawing classes. 
हम वो ड्राइंग क्लासेस यस ड्राइंग क्लासेस इज नथिंग बट द क्राफ्ट और एनी वेयर विच एवर यू डू टाइम ग्राम इज वन सच शेप विच एवर द पेपर यू आर टेकिंग सपोज इफ यू आर एबल टू फोल्ड इट दैट पोर्शन इज कॉल्ड एज टैन ग्राम ओके सपोज इफ इट इज रेनिंग सो यूजली वॉट आर चिल्ड्रेन डू दे यूजली कम टू अर पेरेंट्स एंड से मामा पापा प्लीज डू एंड गिव मी बोट आई होप the parents who are seeing this will be noticing this and you would have gone through this so when you do the boat shape so suppose if there is a square shape over there and you are folding somewhere over here again folding somewhere over here okay now the folded portion is called as one part of the tangram and to be precise you call it as one piece tangram if suppose you are noticing with the only one now how about this bird Yes, there are many shapes over there. You have done something. You have done some craft over there by folding and number of things and putting over there, etc., etc. Now, this portion, each portion is called as tan gram. Man, I'm not able to count it. Okay, let me show with even more example. So, this portion: one, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. yes so six portions so totally how many folds we have so it has six sides that is six complete portions so this is called as six piece tangram so this is called as six piece tangram what if it is four sides that is four complete folds so it is four piece tangram Five, five piece tangram. Seven, seven piece tangram, and this goes on. I hope it is very, very, very easy for you. Let me just check your understanding. How do you understand? Now there is something over there which is the letter S is created. Can you just comment in the comment section? So how many sides it has? Let me just check who is commenting right. well well it's very easy so what is seven piece called as so seven that is seven folds seven piece tangram five five piece tangram well people are still commenting let me have a just watch after my session now how about this one ma'am okay we are able to count seven eight nine piece what is this there are so many folds over there yes the triangle goes on creating as you fold 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 okay this is where animation comes on comes into picture but it is not the actual fold it is i have created it and i am showing you to notice how many folds we have well you have to keep on noticing it don't worry after my session you can pause the video and you can tell me in the comment section how many tangrams we have now i just want to revise our previous important concept that is tiling tiles and non tiling tiles because this is where most of the question comes now tiling tiles tiling tiles is nothing but you are able to join all the tiles without any gap non tiling tiles is nothing but there is a gap created over there just remember the construction example now so till now what have we learned we have learned a new shape called as cylinder just remember the coin example or bangles example and next rubik's cube i have given an assignment you have to find even more cubes in your surrounding and next what is the important thing we have learned in the last concept it is tangram so it is cylinder and cube and tangram i hope the class was very interesting please do stay tuned to our channel please do like share and subscribe to our channel for more such classes thanks for watching bye bye